All right, so in the previous video, we set up how to equip the gun. Uh, we don't really have any perfect gun animations, uh, so it doesn't look the best. Um, as you can see, it looks quite static. It's better if you have actual gun animations and can use a proper blend space for this. For that, because of that, I will also um, actually, I will do the, the rifle now. We're, we're gonna do a rifle, we will use a proper blend space, uh, which will actually make it look a little bit better. Uh, so, uh, yes, so, and in terms of modularity, we'll do yeah, a bunch of workarounds in this project. Uh, this is not gonna be a workaround, but I want to keep the uh, pistol animation as well without the blend space so uh, we need to go into the item details uh, or weapon details and we have we need to create a variable called uh, uses blend space and if it uses blend space we are gonna be using a blend space if it uses blend space we are gonna be using a blend space for mm. is it blend space 1d what am I using what are we using for default here um, yeah, okay, it is, yeah, because we have some leaning going on as well, yeah. I'm not sure how much lean we actually got going on. Yeah, anyway. Um so yeah. So let's just do it. Um call this one equip blend space. Move this one up. So we have this one between the equip blend. So this boolean is going to decide if we use just one animation or if we use an entire blend space. So, um, to do that, we need to use this unarmed. We need to also make this a pin. And we have this weapon blend animation. We have this weapon blend space. Actually, base blend space. We can call this. Um, by default, it should be the BSN art. Yeah. So, should still work. Yeah, perfect. So. Um, uh, sorry if I'm going fast, this is quite advanced, I guess, so sorry if you're a beginner, let me know in the comments if there's questions, bet there will be a bunch. Um, so what we need to do now is we need, uh, in the player when we do the equip wherever we do that no this is wrong in the player so before this part we need from the weapon details we need a branch 
to check if we're using blend space. I mean, this is workarounds for a tutorial as well. So I'm using two different, I'm, I'm setting up basically two different systems here at the same time, just so you are aware of that. If you plan to only use blend spaces, then you don't need to use variables like use blend space. At the same thing with the inventory system. If you plan to use a fully modular pack, then you shouldn't need to have all this C offset, uh, hides head variables and stuff like that. But I'm just showing you ways to do it. You will have to adapt it to your project. Uh, it will look more, it will be a little bit more complicated here. So you decide if you want to use one animation or if you want to use a blend space. Blend space will probably look better. So, but if you don't have a blend space and want to get something working, then this use blend space slash only use one animation solution is a good one. So, until then. So if we're not using blend space, we are going to use this one weapon blend animation. But if we are using a blend spa space, we're going to set this one to zero because then we don't want to see the animation. And this is the blend alpha, which bl so if the blend alpha is zero, we're not going to use the do the blend per bone node. It's not going to be visible. And instead of setting the weapon blend animation, we're going to set uh, set base blend space. Uh, and it's going to be the equip blend space. Not the aim blend space. Because the aim blend space is for when we are ADSing later. So. And just so you understand what's happening here, I forgot to explain that, but what we are doing when we set the weapon is we are setting a rep notifier. And the rep notifier, everything that goes on here will be replicated as long as it's happening on the server. So this is a good event-based way to update the animation blueprint by having a reference to it here. So that means we don't in the animation blueprint, we don't constantly have to check for this variable or what variables we're using. So this is actually quite good for performance as well. And what a rep notifier does as well in comparison to if you multicasted it is that the rep notifier will make sure that when clients connect after this has happened, it will become net relevant to them as well. So they will, she they will see replicated changes even if they connect after the change has happened. So this is the proper way to do it. I've seen lots of people fail at this in other tutorials. And I've failed at it myself plenty of times. It's one of those things that you don't really notice until you actually start the game and have a, have a, a working, working version of it. So that's why I'm telling you now. Anyway, um, What was it doing? Blend space, yeah. So we're gonna need to do the same thing up here. There we go. Good. So now we need a blend space. Mm. And we have this unarmed, right? BS unarmed, yeah. So we are going to copy this one, call it BS rifle. And we will do a new folder called rifle. We'll drag in the BS rifle in here. And we will in the animation 
we have the rifle animation pro so I actually have rifle animations so uh, we're gonna bring them all just so I have them right click I'm gonna duplicate any mess inside my target I'm gonna do the on player we're gonna change we're gonna go in here and rifle and we target and it's probably gonna crash my entire editor because there's a bunch of animations but it didn't so good So now we have a bunch of retargeted animations. That's good. Um, So it's not a okay. Yeah. So this is the one I want, not this one. I'm gonna delete this one and take this one instead because I had the wrong one. All right. So. We have the sprint normal. So, do we have jock? Do we have run? Is there no like normal? Is this really? Is there no like run with the gun down animation? Is this really a pro animation pack? Let, let me pause and look through the animations. Yeah, just on pausing to tell you to not use Unreal Engine 5. I'm starting to get really annoyed at the, this freaking engine. So it's clearly not ready for like actually making a serious pro projecting because it's, it's it just keeps breaking animations and stuff, uh, which I've never encountered in Unreal Engine 4. But it's like I just broke a sprint animation. Uh, as you can see, it just, just doesn't work. And it's like I, I really haven't done anything. So this is like a sprint forward, rate scale zero. It's weird because I really can't recreate it, but that was literally the only thing I did was that I, literally the only thing that I did was that, uh, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, you can see, and it doesn't help if I, yeah, fuck it. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I don't really like that I started doing this tutorial in Unreal. I should have done it in Unreal Engine 4 instead. Um, I thought it would be better at this point, but yeah, okay, fuck it. We'll just continue doing it here, and uh, it's gonna be probably run into a bunch of bugs on the way. We'll have to do workarounds. Um, but yeah, I'll try to find some rifle animations that, yeah, I'll just re-import everything, so give me. This tutorial is weird now. Yeah, anyway, pause. All right, so we are back. Sorry about that. Uh, it took me a while to fix everything. So this is the, from now on, the most inefficient tutorial I've ever encountered. And uh, also it's taken me a ton of time for 40 minutes of video. So anyway. Um, yeah, 
let's just keep going. Uh, we have this blunt space rifle. Uh, don't really have a good uh, animation, mm, even though this is a pro animation set. I didn't think. I think they're missing some some animations that should be cool, which is uh, probably like a normal jog with like the rifle down. Doesn't seem to exist, so I wouldn't call it pro. I would call it base. Uh, well, we have this sprint. I'm gonna use this one, I guess. Um, so, no, not an art rifle. So, in the rifle, I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna grab the sprint loop. I'm gonna put that one there instead. For now, I'm just gonna delete this just to make sure it works. Uh, we have. Do we have an idle? There has to be an idle down, right? Yeah, exactly. Come down. So. Uh, Idle gun down. Maybe if I search for gun down, is that what I should have searched for? Nope. Um, I mean, why is there only walk animation? Why is he aiming on all of the animations? It's possible to walk without aiming with a gun. Don't they know that? Or with a rifle? That's weird. Uh, walk forward loop. Okay, I'm just gonna. Ah, uh, yeah, because I can't keyframe the animations. Ooh, this is just causing me more and more trouble. Uh, and we're just gonna buy a bunch of good animations and models to make this look nice. Uh, let me pause again. All right, um, I'm just gonna show you the blend space thingy and then we can uh, forget this tutorial video ever happened. Um, so here, item rifle. In this one, it's gonna be uh, uh, in the weapon details, it's gonna be uses blend space is gonna be true, and the equip blend space is gonna be the uh, BS rifle. Um, that should work. And in our character, we also need to when we equip. We also need to do the main weapon details instead. So let's see if that works. I paused this video so many times, so I forgot what I didn't didn't do, and then I got a call from work as well and everything. So main. So yeah, uh, we need the socket. Mm, which is called equip rifle mm. uh, skeleton uh, preview animation I'm just gonna grab one of the rifle ones right we're gonna add a socket we're gonna call it equip rifle and we're gonna add a preview it's gonna be the SM rifle and we are gonna change it to 
have something like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, I think. And there we go. So there we go. This is how to do it with a blend space. Mm, I don't really think these animations look very good. So this is the blend space we're running when we are walking. I would like like a relaxed, a relaxed walk animation that is not aiming because we only want to aim when we do right click. So I'm probably going to change this. Uh, for my game to be more like uh, <coughs> more like the pistol and we're gonna do do it that way but at least I've shown you how to do it with our blend space as well you have to decide yourself what you want to use and um, and how you want to set it up so um, these are the both ways that you can do it if you want the blend space or if you want uh, a normal animation so I'm gonna keep both ways uh, and uh, but what I like is I'm gonna do I'm gonna change it so let's see instead I am gonna use I'm gonna say do not use blend space and I'm gonna do rifle idle Which one is it? Uh, I'm gonna do this gun down instead. We're gonna see how that works. It looks so now. I'm not using the blend space. Looks a little bit stale, but better for what I want to do. Um, I think I'm actually gonna keyframe these animations in Unreal Engine 4 and then retarget them because the keyframes aren't really working. Yeah, the arms aren't really moving well. It doesn't look the best. This is the two ways to show it. Show, I just want to show it to you how it could look uh, but yeah that's that's the way to go at least if you want to make it nice so anyway that's gonna be it for this video uh, sorry about all the ruckus and pulsing um, that's just what happens Unreal Engine is or the 5 version is still a uh, very early version of it it's not meant for production so it's only to be expected that there's lots of errors in it um, so if you are doing a like a real project and aren't planning on doing it for a couple of years then you probably should use Unreal Engine 4 because it's my bad is it's gonna be like two years until this is still production ready so yeah anyway thanks for the video let me know if there's any questions and see you in the next one bye